Well, Joe, uh, he's here. 50. Yeah, Jeff Bodu is with us, as you heard the announcer man say. Jeff, good morning. How are you? Hey, Jeff. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Hi, Joe. Hi, Ray. We're good. Thanks for asking. Um, before I we have get a question to... for you guys before All right. we get started. Sure, right. go ahead. Let's go to Jeff on the phone. Jeff, you're Hi, on Jeff, the air. Jeff, you're on the air. <laughs> All right. Gentlemen, what's vinyl? Oh, <laughs> 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 you have to be a certain age, I guess, right? Yeah, you're Wax a little okay. All right. You're you're funny. Right. You're a little he's aging young. us. Do you hear what he's doing? That's to tremendous. Good for him. You know what? I like a guest with a little bit of sass. Well, he does. He's so, got a little sass on him, and yeah, that's good. Exactly. That's good. Um, before we get to the topic at hand, which we'll still get to despite you uh, throwing us under Just the age bus us, here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> with the, with the, with the uh, pandemic seemingly hitting its second wave, um, certainly the, the, the immunizations and hospitalizations are going up. Do you fear it'll make a difference? It'll change the way that things have been going in the, in the, in the real estate market? You know, you would think that it would, but we also thought that it would in February, March, and April. Right. And it didn't. No. It completely went the other way. So it'll be very interesting to see. I have... I think there's more up in the air of the election and what's going to happen over the next month or two that might affect the market more than I am about the uh, numbers going up. Why do you think the why do you think well will the election have a big factor? Well, some people are holding back; they're not making purchases until they see what the markets are going to be like uh, when a new president comes in. So I've heard that a lot from a lot of clients. I'm going to hold off until I see what the markets are like. Well, so far they've been pretty good of late. So far, and you know who's to know based on Trump not wanting to get out and Biden wanting to get Where in. Nobody that? knows what's going on. So just that, I think, contention could cause okay. an effect on the real estate market and the markets in general. And I think you're, you're saying negatively, right? I'm saying negatively, correct. All right. Well, let's hope. Let's hope the other way, right? Fingers are crossed for everybody. I'm sure. Right. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, not to get political here, but that would that would be in the best interest of us all moving Everybody, forward. Everybody, yes. Exactly. Okay. Well, okay, so I thought I'd go down to a store and buy a for sale by owner sign and put it up in my front yard, which I think is the dumbest thing you can do, but no, it's a lot of work. Jeff, we are talking about selling it yourself. Are there any advantages, and when would you recommend somebody do it? Well, you just gave your endorsement right there, right? And it's true. I don't recommend... Of course, I'm biased because I'm a well, realtor. Of course you are. I really, I, I really don't recommend somebody do for sale by owner. There's everyone looks at it as if I'm going to save five or six percent on commission, and that's not necessarily the case. Lots of times, most of the time, you're still going to have to pay a buyer broker because a real estate agent most likely is going to represent a buyer going in there. So now, really, you're down to two and a half or three percent, right? But then, when you take into account all of the things that you're going to need to do. To get that home sold, right, you're going to have to prepare your home. You're going to have the listing process. You've got to take your own photos. You've got to do all of these things, arrange showings, holding open houses. Mm-hmm. When you're doing all that, what is your, really, what are you, what's your loss of um, opportunity cost, right? You could be doing a ton of other things like going to work and making money, which is you're supposed to do, spending quality time with your family, getting those chores done around the house that your wife's been asking you to do for years. So when you take all that into account, are you really making any money? I don't, I I don't think so. And lots of times for sale by owner homes sell for less than if they were on the open market with a real estate agent who has all of these tools to expose your home to the most buyers and in the right form with, with, you know, professional staging, professional photos, all of those things that realtors do. I can't tell you, when a new listing comes on that's for sale by owner, you know automatically. And you know because half of the listing is left out because there's so much work uh, putting in all the information in the multiple listing service. They've taken their own photos. They haven't prepared their house. So the cat's running through the photo. Uh, (laughs) So in the end, I really don't think that you're making money by selling things for sale by owner. Do you, and as you said earlier, you're slightly biased in this department, but yeah, do you see, sure. do you get a lot of people who come to you whining and wailing and saying, oh, Jeff, I made a terrible mistake. I was going to sell the house myself, and it's too much work. Can you do it for me? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. They, How was that impersonation? Was that good? That was very good, Joe, by the way. I, I think that was perfect. That was excellent. Yeah. So the answer is yes. 
And then what happens is somebody, they had a for sale sign out in the front yard for three, four, five months. They tried listing it for themselves. There are services like for sale by owner and stuff where you can list your right, home I've seen that, yeah. on the MLS and stuff. But at the end of the day, if you haven't sold your home, now it's sort of quote unquote has a stigma about it. Well, he tried to, they tried to sell it on their own. Now they're trying to right. list with a real estate agent. Did something wrong? Was something wrong? It, it, so it automatically gets stigmatized. And I, and I think, Jeff, there are many things if you try this for sale by owner. And I think you kind of alluded to this a minute ago. A lot of things that you don't think about. You know, do, should I, the staging of the room, the photos? I mean, there's a lot of stuff. So, you know, if you go to an agent, they've been there and they've done that for quite a while in your case. Uh, you know, you're going to know the tricks and the pitfalls. Exactly. You, we know the tricks. We know the pitfalls. We have the contacts and people that we know to go to for staging, um, interior, exterior, uh, virtual staging. How is somebody going to know how to virtually stage their home? Professional photos. When, when, when you look at the expenses that a real estate agent has into a property and listing it and marketing it, buyer, uh, for sale by owner sellers, they don't consider that. We could have thousands of dollars into preparing and marketing your home for sale. And a lot of the public, this is a good point, a lot of the public think that, well, I'm with William Ravis, for instance. Oh, William Ravis is covering all those costs. That is not the case. No. Right? The agent is paying for all of those expenses. Oh, God. Is that fair? Yeah. So when you look, Go on strike. So, I'm sorry? Go on strike. <laughs> yeah. Demand they cover yeah, those you, expenses. You, you, you could do that. Yeah, <laughs> once. Okay. And people think that, you know, the negotiations – are just when you list the property and somebody comes in and makes an offer. But you're negotiating right out of the get-go. You're negotiating price. You're then negotiating inspections. You now have to meet as the seller. You now have to meet the appraiser. Now you're negotiating with an appraiser, lack of a mm. better phrase, to make sure that your home's appraising. And if you don't have access to all the data that we have on the MLS and other systems that we have to do comparables and market analysis, right. you're, left at a, you're left at a disadvantage trying to show the value of your home. If you're going to sell your home, if you're going to do sale by owner, what's, what are the warning signs that this isn't going well and you've got to get the hell out of Dodge? Hmm. No one's showing up. That's a good point. <laughs> that doesn't yeah, really that's, show up. That's a good point. <laughs> if, if you're getting feedback, the feedback you're getting is negative, whether it's the photos, whether it's the price. Um, lots of times, too, gaining access to a for sale by owner is difficult. We're asking if we can get in on Tuesday at 9 o'clock. Oh, I can't. I, you know, I'm at work from 9 to 3. Can you right. do it after there? Or, right. You know, I have to try to get the dog out. So there's all of these factors that negatively impact a for sale by owner. And you work right. a lot of nights. <laughs> yeah, ask my wife. We work nights. Yeah. We work weekends. You know, everyone, people say, I want to get into real estate. It's such a flexible um, uh, schedule you have. Dream on. Uh, right. God. Well, and, you know, so you don't think like putting a sign in the front yard and then going down to a telephone pole somewhere down the street and and putting up a sign, you know, that's, <laughs> that, that's a little difficult, huh? It is a little difficult. You know, let's let's not completely bash for sale by owner. No, we're not doing I mean, that. W- w- I, you know, there are advantages. We haven't exactly people. said it's a great thing either. Well, no, we haven't, Joe. You're <laughs> you know, things have evolved. You can now list your home for sale by owner on Zillow, right? But, again, all of these other factors that are going to affect the net to you don't change yeah. wherever you're marketing the home. Yeah, makes sense. Right. Hey, folks, if you want to learn more about today's topic or any of the questions about the real estate market, contact our guy Jeff Bodu of William Ravis at 860-463-9296 or online at jeffbodu.com. You can follow him on Twitter at Jeff Bodu. Always interesting, always yeah. informative. Thank you for your time, my friend. Stay safe, and Thanks, we'll talk Jeff. to you in two weeks. Yeah. You too, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Thank Jeff you. Bodu. He's really good. I think you know, we kind of talked you out of selling it by yourself. He's, well, I mean, it, it's you know, a lot of work. When it you truly got professionals, is. Yeah. You know, it doesn't make any sense.